This is the state of play outside at the moment. Um, looks more like an archaeological dig, people keep telling me as they turn up and uh, want to have a look at what work we're doing. I've given the, um, the framework some time to really get strong, tighten up. And what I'm going to start doing is start preparing around the edges of the frames. A lot of questions have been coming in about how we're going to finish that. I've been cleaning, brushing, hosing all these down so I get all the rubbish out and we can start to consolidate that all back again. We've just got enough spaces to be able to do that. And up the top there, there probably, I might do one stone, but I might slice a stone in half and then put the whole half in, but I'll show you how I do that. Um, I guess you've got a good idea how that's gonna happen. It's gonna be messy. But I'd prefer one full piece of stone in there rather than a load of small pieces because that's what starts to look like it's been tampered with. Right hand side is here um, as you can see I found a stone here so it's a whole stone fits in nicely fits in the hole I've just left it there for now another one here slightly sm uh, slightly smaller but that's okay that's good got that big hole to fill up so I've got to consolidate behind um, the columns now been doing some work on the edges of the stone, so starting to get these flat. There's a, you know, when you put them in, they don't go in exactly. Just finishing over the top with sandpaper. I've got a little bit of filling to do. There'll be a ridge in here to show the clear split between the top and the bottom rock. But this line here, we're going to start to close in, primarily because I don't want any damp to get in there when it rains or when the winter comes, it snows. So I'm going to do a mix of mortar and I'm going to start to get the, some of these stones fixed in and just work up both sides. Okay, just trying to find the stone for this bit of a strange shape. I've got this one, um, which I just found on the rock pile. kind of like the face because it's kind of flat. So you can see that it's nice and flat on top. Or well, that's the face I think I'm going to use. It's got kind of a flat bottom, slightly falling away. Um, the thing about these stones is when they sit in and they go in and some of them just slot into place for some reason it might be not something you do on purpose but if I can just I feel as though this is about the right shape and sometimes they just sit in perfectly either that way up or it might be that way up I think it's that way up there you go there you go Okay, I found a stone I think I'd like to use. It's an interesting shape, it's got a couple of interesting markings on it and it would fit in there perfectly if it, the hole was deep enough. It'll, it'll leave me with a tiny little gap here but I'm not really worried about that. What I do like is this edge it's providing here. Um, just looks like it's always been there when it's sitting there. So what I've got to do is to take out the bit of stone To get that fixed in, I can put this in. Actually, that fits in now. That's lovely. That's great. That's it. That just looks like it's always been there. Well, it will do anyway when I've finished. I've found about a hundred stones that I think might work in different places. And what I'm gonna do is just pick from that pile. Because if you look, start looking at too many stones, it's, uh, it gets too much. I once heard from a stonemason, if you just pick a stone up and put it in and use it, that's the way you should do it. I tend to pick up three or four and I find I can use one of them now. Okay, so I found a few more stones that look like they might fit. I'm trying to make them as large as I can. Obviously it's quite difficult when you've only got small gaps and holes. Some, some of the holes I'm actually opening up so I can get a nicer stone in, but uh, it's coming on okay at the moment.
find one. Oh well. Come on. Okay. Leave it one. Ah. And a funny figure. Okay, so we're looking for a stone that we can take a slice out of. It'll all become very obvious. How you doing? Well, that could be a possibility, but I'm not really sure. Yep, yeah. You see? So that might be one. That could do it. That's got a flat, yeah. This is no good. How thin is that on the end? I see it going down. Oh, that's okay. No, no, that's okay. That might do one side, actually. Now whether or not the stone breaks, he gets what he requires, or watch those stones. This could easily snap in half. I can see. Quite tricky this bit. Uh, buttons disappeared. These stones are tough. And hot. Yeah, and it's hot. Not yet. Right, we need a little bit more cutting there, so back to the grinder. Oh my goodness. You see, if Steve can get that, the front of that is super. Oh, something's happening. Okay, let me see, let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Is that a bacon sandwich? I can smell it from here. Yeah, a bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee. Nice. Oh my god. I lost, I lost the, um, the napkins all the way. Create your space. And this button's got some here too. Okay. You're like a napkin. <laughs> but, Mummy's got your food in as well. Stay in the shade though. Stay in the shade. Can she go down there? Yeah, go in the shade. Go in the shade. Over here. Probably over here. But, uh, that, yeah. that. Probably over there. Okay, come Just, this way. You, you walk it over there, she'll follow you. Uh, yeah, come this way. Come here, baby. The sandwich is this one is yours with the sugar in that cup. And there's a napkin. Bacon sandwich. Uh, yeah, bacon sandwich. And also, not. You get, you get a bacon sandwich in England as well. Yeah, but not forgetting. Tomato. You do eat a lot of tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> There's tomato in this, by the way. Mmm. Not good. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. So, bacon and tomato sandwich. How are you doing? Alright, absolutely. Mmm. Nice. We brought Button down here with us um, because she can't quite see us properly where she's situated and she just likes to be involved with everything we do. I mean, it was great last night, wasn't it? Mm. Um, one of our uh, restaurants in the village 
We visited friends yesterday. Oh my goodness, you should see his vegetables. You think my vegetables are good? Oh God, <laughs> Angelo's vegetables are like, oh, they're huge. But uh, when we came back from them, we stopped at the local hotel restaurant for a bit of pasta. And Miss Button was there too. And oh, she loves it. I can't wait for this to be our proper entrance um, out into this terrace. I mean, you know, can you imagine? Just visualise what I can. Is Do you remember the Emperor's New Clothes? Yes. We talk about the Emperor's New Clothes quite a bit here because... We've got to imagine everything. We have a vision and we have an imagination. And this would not be here. This will be wonderful. We're sitting outside on our big table. This is the breakfast table. Yeah, breakfast table, just like this. And, oh, God. And, you know, maybe you want to come and join us, have your bacon sandwich. Imagine sitting there with a trestle <laughs> and some ramps. Mm. Wow. You know you have the, the messy T-shirt? You've now got the, the ragged jeans. Yeah. Look at this baby. Uh, yes, the problem is, I, as I do that, my <laughs> knee, my knee comes up and rips it more. You need to, you need to have short one. It'll be too much on the back. Yes, yes. Come in. Like a bacon sandwich. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Okay, sweetheart. Not use that word. <laughs> That's joking. a strange word. I did it on purpose. I've uh, got some water. And I've just got to work it in uh, this side. I'll show you briefly what I'm doing. Lynn's going to do the uh, template for the other side and I'm going to consolidate um, up here. You can see there's probably a bit of light coming in. So I'm going to try and get on with that. Okay, so remember the, tem the template uh, Lynn did for me. Um, that's the stone and that's the template. That's not looking too bad. So it's roughly the right shape. So that's all it needs to be. So we've got this thickness at the moment. So what's that? 50, 60 mil thick, 55 maybe. But we've got a load of cutting to do on this, and it's going to get this stone is going to start to get very delicate because we're going to go down to that thickness on the top, and also the bottom. Because obviously the inside is going to go inside the girder. Remember that. <laughs> Right, so this is where we're at at the moment. You can see it's going to start to replace that whole face. Right, you're up on the first floor, uh, Keystone's next to you on the left, 
And this is the hole I'm trying to fill. You can see the end of the girder is here. I've just sharpened the pencil, got a nice little bit of lead on that. And the stone, as you can see, has got all these shapes in now. So what we're trying to do is one way or the other, depending on which is the best way to do this, you can see that that is going to sit in there. Wow, that's gone in first time. Right, so just back with this stone on the scaffolding. Now what I've done is, I've aged all the way around the edge of this stone. Everything, so if you look quite closely, that's not a hard cut line there. Uh, anymore, this one here, that line there, and all I've done is got a little nail hammer with a little end on it and I've just been chipping it like this, slowly turning it into what is going to look like a complete stone. So all these little edges all get knocked around a bit, not too much, otherwise it's a split. where this stone goes and it goes in like that. I think what I'll do is I'll put a layer of this stuff on this edge. And let's see if we can get some, uh, some bonding going on. Ugh. Right, what I need to do is to press that in there. Now you can see it's very high at the moment, but if we keep doing that and shimmy it and give it a little knock as well so we can get that bedded in properly. What I want to do is form that back end shape. I've got to be careful doing this because I don't want to break the stone. And it's easy to do. So just keep knocking and pushing. All right, let's take it out. Probably find all oh, something comes out. Okay. All right, we can see we can see what kind of shape we've got here. So we'll take all this. This is all coming out. So let's take all that out. You know that's too much. That'll be a bit too much. Push that further in. And we, what you'll see is this will start to bed in, I hope. He says. is going. It's just going to take some doing. Uh, the trick is, do I let it go? At the moment, I feel as though I'm holding it in with a hammer, a rubber handle. But if you just keep tapping away, that cement is just getting compressed and it's causing a vacuum uh, behind the stone, and which is making it stick on like a suction pad. Thank 
super necessary and it's only tiny little knots just to get that suction going so it onto the wall and onto the girder. Anyway, that's what they tell me. Okay, I feel, although I'm a bit scared of letting go, I feel as though I've been here before. I'll just take the excess, you could, right, if I show you the mortar, it was soft, it's now starting to go hard. I'm going to stay, stay with this. It needs as much help as it can to stick. So the more I can just wrap it over the edges. Obviously there's another coat of mortar going on this, the limes, the, the other lime mortar. Right. I almost don't want to let go, but we'll give it a go anyway. Right, okay, so this is the view from the ground floor, and uh, that's the stone in place. I've walked away from it. If it falls out now, God help me. Um, I wouldn't like to go through that again. Um, I've looked at it from a distance and it seems to be about right. Um, you never get these things perfect, it's, it's a bit of a guessing game. you just got to go with what you think and then, um, yeah, I haven't really got much more to say about it really. Um, you have to get the, next the more I look at it, the more it's going to fall out, so I'm going to walk away from it. Well, this is the other stone for the other side. Um, as you can see, there's the cut line. This is a heavy stone. There's the cut line. I've done a cut line all the way around and that goes in three inches. Um, I had a few questions about what I use and that's the beast. So that's Makita, that's a diamond cut blade and uh, that is uh, 2000 watts. So it's a nice piece of kit, does the job. However, I can only go in so deep, uh, I can't think of how else I can get any deeper at the moment. Um, obviously you saw the first stone, it was perfectly okay. Let's give, let's give this a tap and see if we can break it off in the same way. I'm, I'm always worried about doing, as you've probably seen, doing so much work on these and then it goes wrong. Alright, so I've got a small club hammer and I've got the, the chisels. What I don't want this to do is to come off in a part section, I need it as a whole.
Right, it's left me with another piece. It's like something like that. So I've got all the finish, but I've got none of the thickness. So it's beautiful. And because the other one winning as well as it did, I'm going to attempt to do this one as well the same. So top, front, bottom. Okay. So Lynn, Lynn did this earlier. Okay, so this is the other stone. You can see how much I've had to take um, away. So that's the section through. That part sits inside the girder on the other side. Now, this is uh, before I've aged all the edges and made it look like it hasn't been cut. But more interestingly, I found something quite special. Uh, it's a fossil. It's right here. It's right in front of my fingertip now. It's very small, but it is a fossil. So what we're gonna do now is to just age this stone. So go around the edges as I, as I did the other one and just, um, just take these straight lines off. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you can see that, uh, see that fully. So we'll see if we can give that uh, a little fit. I'll take you with me. Right, okay, so we're going in that hole with this. Okay, so just bear with me. This is first dry fit on this. That's a nice fit. That's perfect. And it's staying there on its own, look. That's strange. Okay, so I'm just getting to the end of the stones that surround the framing I've done. Uh, I've just got to find some sort of stone to go in here. Although we've got a lot of stones. Just finding, finding the right shape. Really easy to Last one. Okay, so that's all the stones done all the way around the frame. So on to the next job, which is lime mortar. So that's the pure lime mortar. And that's, um, that's the one that goes on the exterior of the house, the one that we've already used for refinishing. Uh, everything seems to have gone okay. And uh, if you like what you see, if you'd like to subscribe, um, tick the like box, ring the bell, it's important. Uh, you'll be able to know when we get the next episode out. Thank you for the support on the, um, the other vlogs uh, in relation to the entrance we're doing here. Uh, Lynn and I are very thankful for everything we've been getting in the way of messages, um, congratulations, uh, you name it, we've been getting it. And a lot of questions, technical questions about the build, and most of them are about the jobs that I'm doing at the moment. But there's uh, there's other people asking questions about other vlogs, 
and uh, I believe all of these get answered. I check periodically, uh, Lynn's doing a great job, and uh, Button is also, she still makes me laugh, so, uh, so that's great, so uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.